This is our HTML markup and we'll begin by adding a style sheet in the head section and then a script in the body section. We won't be writing CSS at all because entire functionality is written in JavaScript. That's why in this tutorial we won't be focusing on CSS. And the CSS we've added is just to make the tutorial look good and nothing else. So you can continue without writing CSS. After adding style sheet in JavaScript, we'll create a div inside the body element. Inside DIV, we will create an input element which will serve as a place for user to enter search query. Inside the same DIV, we are going to create an unordered list. Our list items will be dogs, cats, foxes, cows, elephants, etc. Now let's zoom a little bit to have a look on our creation. And let's try by typing some value inside it. And you can see it's not working. Now it's time for JavaScript. At first we'll select the input element and then we'll bind in listener to it, an input listener, so that whenever a user inputs a value, we'll fire the function. And we'll name a function filter. Now we'll create function named filter. As now we are working with list items, so now we'll select all list items using query selector all. Now inside a filter function, we'll get the value of input and then we'll turn it into lowercase just because we want our searches to be case insensitive. Then we'll loop through each list item. We will extract the content of list item by using inner HTML property and then we'll convert it into lowercase to keep our comparison case insensitive. Now it's time for some conditional blocks. First of all, we'll check if our search query is empty. We'll display all list items. So we'll set the display property of lists to block here. Now we'll create a new variable found, which will store the index of search inside text. Minus one index means the result is not found, and any other positive or zero index means the result is found. If result is not found, that is found equals to minus one, will hide that list item by setting it to display none and else if some else value is returned will display the list item by setting it to display block again now let's give it a try and this is for super geeky people. If you want to minimize the code even a little bit, you can do this as well. And if you want a case sensitive comparison, then you have to remove two lower case from both the values. Hey guys, I hope you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.